dinosaurs, the paleontology, it's strong in this crowd, I can tell. All right, all right, it's contain, contain yourselves, everyone. She'll be out in a minute, but our next guest is a potentially crazy paleontologist who actually believes that modern day birds evolved from dinosaurs. Yeah. I know, I know, I know. She goes on to claim that some parts of the new upcoming Jurassic Park sequel may not be 100% factually accurate, and that khaki pants are not as common as, as you would think in her line of work. Who, who would have known? So we're going to learn a lot more about these statements as we review the trailer for the upcoming Jurassic World movie. Please put your hands together for the associate professor in vertebrae paleontology at the Jackson School of Geoscience in Austin, Texas, a real-life paleontologist, Julia Clark. Come on out here. Out here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. My pleasure. This is going to be a great episode. Yeah. Okay, have a seat. All right. We have all sorts of drinking and captioning and dinosauring to do. So, I'm looking forward to it. Good. All right. Well, I want to start. Uh, you know, we had a uh, caption contest, right? Okay. Like, um, I don't know. I don't, have you ever uncovered fossils that look anything like that? Shark, dinosaur, bazooka? Wow. Um, I have to say, I haven't. Um, okay. Especially the bazooka part. Do, have, have you actually done the? Do you, do you like dirt with a brush kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. We okay. had, yes. I don't know. I thought maybe you guys are just all computers and now. And we all you know? also Who use knows? big tools. Okay. You know, because we have like shovels you know, or dinosaurs what? Or or bazookas shovels. Or? There are actually these, you know, big picks that you have to use. So <laughs> oh, we should, that would have been fun. We right. should have brought some of those out. But yeah, let's move on now to the uh, the main meat and potatoes of this interview okay. is this new Jurassic World trailer. So, um, you know, I'm a Jurassic Park fan. I know very little about real paleontology, okay. but let's go through and let's dissect it. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm as anxious to see this as you are. You know? Midnight? What happens at midnight? No, well, the the day the movie comes out. You're gonna be there at midnight dressed up with me. As a dinosaur. Yeah. Well, or, or as a paleontologist. Okay. <laughs> what do you oh, I, get, well, I got so khaki pants, pants already, so I can do that. So. Neither of us are wearing khaki pants. <laughs> I'd, I'm a little bit torn on what that's supposed to actually be, but I would, I, I'm going to guess it's supposed to be a mo mosasaur. Are alligators dinosaurs? What? Alligators are dinosaurs? <laughs> are, they, do they, they are you trying to make me angry? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So an alligator so no is turtles. not a dinosaur. Well, it looks like an alligator. Like maybe evolved from well, it. I don't know. That's what's so confusing here. It's Jurassic World. They put a bunch of animals in here that are not dinosaurs. Mm. So a di dinosaur is a really elite address. Gotcha. You got to be part of one group to be a dinosaur. And this guy is marine. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably a mosasaur. Okay. All right. That's what I was thinking, Mosasaur. Yeah, yeah that's. <laughs> You're saying it's defi definitely. I'm, with, right. you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. I'm with you, Julie. Lenny, Lenny okay. was a paleontologist before DJ. <laughs> Same thing. You gotta be careful. It's a little large. <laughs> he was a pale Scientologist. <laughs> pale Scientologist, okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I, I like the bubbles. <sighs> Okay, so talk to me about the attractiveness of men you work with. Well, um, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of step back from that particular mm. conversation. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna Pretty focus on the. Pretty attractive is what I'm getting from that. <laughs> I'm gonna focus on the vest. Oh, okay, the vest. You know? Yeah, that looks very. Paleontology. So, in fact, not all paleontologists wear vests. Mm. They're not all dudes. Oh. And they okay. don't all have look like kind of a want to be young Harrison Ford. <laughs> I'm just, I got I to gotta ruin that, you know, that concept, that dream. Let's see what else we got in this amazing trailer. OK, so yeah, I had to pause it there. Now, why you is that? You see the vest. I mean, this well, yeah, is yeah, very the vest prom is strong. prominent. So you know, I've got a theory. Here. See the little stripe on the middle one? Like, I think that means that he's smart, or he's the leader, or something. I don't know. I haven't figured that out. But what do you think? Wow, I didn't notice that stripe. Thanks. What, I, what, what, hits, <laughs> what hits me immediately is that these are clearly raptors, and none of them mm -hmm. are fuzzy. Why oh, aren't what? these raptors fuzzy? And now we know all raptors are fuzzy. Many of them had feathers coming off. We have tons of fossils, mostly from China, that show us they're fuzzy. So you're Those saying that raptors are not fuzzy. I'm I'm a little I'm a little angry at that. You're actually. saying you could pet a real raptor because they would have fur. I think that would be a bad idea. Like Dylan. feathers or I don't I don't, I don't no. Think wait till you see the end of this trailer. It's oh they're goodness. your friends and they will really? follow you on motorcycles to attack people you don't like. They, but we'll, they, wait, the we'll get there. Ride well, just, motorcycles? I'm sorry. I've already said too much. Just 
actually know what particular raptor that's supposed to be because a lot of raptors were kind of small and lightly built. Those guys oh. look a little bit like they're on so steroids. This, do you think you any think are that special big? Special juice. You think it, do you think any would be this big and tall, or do you think it's... No, sure, there are raptors that big. You know, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Um, kind of like a weird green hybrid. So the green, green. green turns out to be a really rare color in the animal kingdom. Oh, you blend green. right in, though. You so think these, are, these raptors their... are juicing? Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think they may be juicing. They're yeah. looking a little They're looking a little built, yeah, you know, well. and, uh, and that, they're not fuzzy. <laughs> okay. They're not fuzzy. There are okay. no feathers on there. Yeah. We have Steve a new attraction. Field. Can you spare the kids? That's the scary one. They don't show you much of it. Made a new dinosaur? That one, that one we saw. Okay. Um, lab coats, like, talking about the girls. I don't know. I don't know why all female scientists kind of have the matrix hair. And yeah, you know, there's a lot of diversity. There's, you know, beautiful we saw eyes, the... though. Oh, just beautiful eyes, isn't it? I'll leave that to you. No, I just. <laughs> beautiful eyes. Here, have a shot. Is that, a, is that like a, is that a joke I don't, I, that I totally missed? No, no, it's just. Can we talk about I just, that some more? I just suck at interviewing. <laughs> I have right. no idea what I'm doing. What, what is this? Mm. This is a shot of whiskey. <clears throat> All right, go ahead. Um, moving past the eyes. Probably not a good idea. Okay, is still my hero though. Yeah, there goes the Mexican. Sorry. What? Well, he was. You knew he was dead. I felt bad. Sorry. Wait, is the is the vest wearer now dead as well? Is what, uh, what's going no, on no. Here? So, oh, yeah, this is what I want to talk about. So he's pl he's not moving, because, so he's gonna survive by playing dead. Correct? Incorrect. Well, I mean, a lot of these big raptors. I don't know. This is an imaginary, made-up dinosaur. It's like but, super T-Rex. Yeah. You know the debate over T-Rex, whether it was a scavenger or an active hunter. And the question yeah. is whether. <laughs> This fake raptor cares. It's like meat. It's kind of like lukewarm. Maybe I want to eat that, you know? So that's kind of the perennial debate. I think that a large raptor, I'm just going to go out on a limb here yeah. and say it wouldn't care. Like, it would be like, that's definitely meat. I'm going to eat it. You think you could smell him, even if he's not moving? Yeah, and it's definitely consensus. It's probably warm. I mean, it's not like super dead meat. It's not like rotten So meat. don't play dead when an Indominus Rex or T-Rex comes after you. I mean, you could try that. What, Just, what other strategies are you going to have? Unless yeah, I'm you not going to punch him. Unless like. you have the bazooka or the shark, you're kind of out of luck. Yeah, so, that's, well, I'll you know, if you want to try this strategy. You get a motorcycle with a pack of intelligent raptors. Anyways, go ahead. Next, uh, okay, okay. go ahead and move on. Just can't wait for the ending. <laughs> it's killing for sport. Kill for sport? Just no. to entertain themselves? Okay, no. Oh, well, I mean, or, you know, some of the, the really smart you know, the raptors that are very closely related to birds, because we know birds have, birds are living dinosaurs, they have a sense of play. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think tickle of each other and stuff? Or whatever. Is tickling? Or like they just. Now, that's an interesting concept. That thing, you know? Tickling's actually very restricted. Like animals that you can tickle, and they're like, <laughs> you know, like stuffed animals, they all do that, but it's not very common. So I don't, I don't actually know if you can tickle a parrot and, and get a response, but they are highly intelligent. Maybe oh. that's why the tickling. Do you still have that monkey in the audience? We have, test, we have testing to do. <laughs> well, monkey, you know, we think of things that are smart as looking like us. And so we can kind of look at monkeys and we're like, yeah. oh, they're kind of fuzzy, they social groom, which I had no idea that yeah, was. Yeah, because I know if I went in, he'd be like, you know. I think. How did, I think. How did that or like go? he would do a little, he would do that little okay, monkey okay. sound. Yeah. Um, so, but birds have a huge forebrain, so where our language center sits, and we know that evolved within dinosaurs. So, okay, we're here killing for sport. Probably not. Bigger brains evolve within dinosaurs. What's being shown here, so like T. Rex, that brain is still pretty. It's not very big overall. Okay. All right. You have to get the small, lightly built raptors. Blue eyes, is that a? Blue eyes, definitely. Um, you know, no, no contacts back then. It's no. sort of like an Aryan, wrinkly <laughs> dinosaur. I, I mean, <laughs> unfortunately, we as yet have no fossil evidence of eye color. Mm, okay. We might get there. All right, but, All right Yeah, that's the one of the few shots you get of it. You Why is there a tank top now? Why is there a tank top now? Okay. You think a pterodactyl, that was, I was supposed to pause it, but can a pterodactyl pick up a human? Oh, that's my scene. That's what it's all about. Oh, this is the, <laughs> I am all about this scene. This Anyways, is the motorcycle? But real quick, can, can the, do you think a pterodactyl could pick up a person and eat them or throw them into the ocean? Are they that big? Were they that big? 
And that's so, strong? So pterosaurs in the Cretaceous, keep in mind, this is called Jurassic World. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so pterosaurs in the, in the Cretaceous got huge. The Texas pterosaur, which of course has to be bigger than all other pterosaurs because we're <laughs> Texas. <laughs> right, right. Um, Quetzalcoatlus, like, had a huge wingspan. It would basically not fit in this room. Like, wow. in terms of the Ooh. width, it's, it's just, a, or just about. And um, so they did get extremely large. Um, not a lot of really big pterosaurs yet discovered in the Jurassic. Okay. A lot of them tend to be kind of on the smaller side. Yeah. So, um, so they could pick you up. Open question. <laughs> I don't know about the picking. I mean, that's a little, we could, I don't know. Because I'm, one, test I'm that. like 180 on a good day. Well, why wouldn't they rice. just rip at you <laughs> serially and just like feed and just rip shreds of you? I know, because they take me places, so I don't have to drive. I don't know. They're smart, but they're friends of mine. <laughs> Anyways, just, I don't know it's what to say about this scene. It's just amazing how much. But this, okay. this is the coolest. Like, this is the coolest thing I have ever seen, is just cruising on a motorcycle with three highly intelligent friend raptors ready to those attack are, my those enemy. Those are friends? Well, and, those are yeah, that friends. guy's me, is what I'm thinking. And then those things <laughs> around me are my friends. And you, we're, we're, like, getting Osama Bin Laden or something. But go so ahead these, and... are, these are ISIS fighting <laughs> rappers? Yeah, yeah, we're going after ISIS, yeah. I That's... mean, or, or yeah. Osama bin Laden, who <laughs> no, is no, we'll go after not ISIS. with ISIS. And they're your friends. They're still not fuzzy. They here. Thank you very much for coming out. Everyone, give her a hand right. of applause. Okay. Thank you for talking to us. And then uh, they can check out your, um, you've, got a, you've got a special, I think it's... It's at HHMI, so Howard Hughes Medical Institute, great organization, and it's their biointeractive series. Okay, so everybody check that out. Yeah. I watched it, I loved it, learned a lot about okay. birds. So um, thank you so much for coming yeah. out, I appreciate it. So okay. give a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. Yeah, that was that really was fun. Great.